and welcome to Vinnie Bourne Demonstrations. Today we want to talk about paint preparation. We have a, uh, an FPP, Fast Paint Preparation System. Um, basically it's a system that allows you to uh, mix your paint and filter your paint all in one go. We have uh, an outer cup, we have a liner, we have a uh, filter built into the lid. We have two clips which hold the lid on and you can see the filter inside there. You hear a click. We can just check around the side to make sure it is sealed correctly and that's basically it. Now we're going to run through actually spraying with it. Okay, so now I'm going to pour some paint into it. It's worth mentioning on the cup, it also has 2 to 1, 3 to 1, 4 to 1, 5 to 1, 6 to 1. So it has all the various different mixing ratios for two component paints. Again, just to check, make sure it's fully sealed all the way around. That's fine. We have a spray gun. This is an LVLP spray gun. Uh, I have a fitting onto it. We have several different fittings depending on the type of spray gun you have. Or if you're buying a gun off us, we'll match up a fitting to the gun itself. So that's designed just to clip on. One turn, that's it. Now what we do is we'll uh, put some air into it and we'll just show you what happens. Okay, we're going to connect our airline hose. Now what I'm going to do is I'm just going to take the air out of it as such, right? And you'll see what happens. You can see that the bag is imploding. There's a couple of advantages to that, okay? One, if you want to spray upside down or different acute angles. Uh, two, because it's a gravity gun and you, you know, between paint and you want to rest the gun or whatever, normally you need a hook on the wall, put it onto it. But in the case of that, you don't have to, it won't matter. The, the paint's not going to leak out of there. Uh, another big advantage is when it comes to the cleaning, because now obviously all we need to do is clean here, but we, we'll, we'll show you that. Cleaning the fast paint preparation system. So we're just going to unclick it. There will be a little bit of paint that's going to spill out. You can catch that. So you just have to clean this section here. In this case, because I'm using solvent paint, I'm using a solvent cleaning solution. Basically, all it is is a premium thinner. So I'm making acrylic thinners or a standard nitrocellulose thinners. If you're using water-based, then you would use the appropriate cleaner for water-based paint. I'm also going to use a little brush, which is going to help me just get down into there. I'm just going to turn on the extraction. Basically, that's, that's the process. The gun is now ready to move on to if you're painting a different colour or if you want to put it into storage. Okay, the disposal of the FPP. Um, basically, we're going to unclick it. We have little caps. So, in the case of this particular product, it's one component. There hasn't been any hardness used or anything. So, I can just clip it like that. 
it'll seal, stop the air from getting into it. I can get a felt pen mark on it, primer, chlorinated rubber, wherever it is, one component, put it back on the shelf and I can use it again, probably up to about two weeks. If it was two components, obviously you can't, the hardener is going to activate the paint and the paint will be useless after about 90 minutes or whatever. So, and another important thing is obviously the disposing of the paint. You got to do it in accordance to your local authority or whatever is recommended. Do not throw this into your general waste. If you have any further questions, please contact an advisor at vinnieborn.com or alternatively email sales at vinnieborn.com.